what's happening everybody so in this tutorial i will show you guys how you can get your skill points for each of your characters up pretty quick so as you can see one of my characters is uh, quite <clears throat> his uh, skills are quite degraded um <clears throat> but uh, i've just found out about this and i thought you guys might like to know this guy is almost die uh okay so Let's go ahead and pick a mission and you can work with any mission. Now, some of the missions will require you to <clears throat> play with two characters. And then if they require you to do that, then you'll have to get both of the characters back to like a rendezvous point uh, to, to finish the level. So in order for you to do that, you will have to use up your energy points twice as fast. On those missions but what I just found realize is that if you play a mission that does not require two people you can still choose another character and play the game except it won't require you to take the other person to the um, uh, to the rendezvous point so you will finish the level by yourself and the other person the other character can just stand exactly where he uh, was standing when he started the level. So as you can see here, I have uh, one character. Let's see, uh, this guy. Let's try Jorge, I mean Terrence. Yeah, let's see if he's upgradable. Uh, I don't want him. So what I try to do, if you looked at one of my other tutorials, is that I try to look at the characters where they have um, shorter upgrade periods. So in this example, this is his first upgrade. So there's only three bars that I have to fill. So these guys get upgraded pretty fast. And uh, and that way, most of my characters have pretty much the same skill sets or it takes the same amount of um, skill points to build each of the characters. So this guy uh, has one more bar left here. So we'll go ahead and, and use this guy and uh, let's say select this guy and then we'll choose a character so this doesn't require us to play with another member it's not a requirement but let's go ahead and add a character here and i hope this works because it did work for me yesterday i don't know if it was a glitch or not but it did not require me to get both of the characters to the rendezvous point so <clears throat> uh let's go ahead and let me pick a chick here Oh, she looks like she's on dope. So let's try to get her character. Oh, she has one skill point. So let's see. Maybe we should get her stamina so that she doesn't look like she's on crack all the time. All right. So let's select her. And we don't need to get guns in this uh, game or uh, in this uh, mission. So let's go ahead and uh, change. Oops. Ah! What the? Oh, yeah. So. I'm going to change the weapon and let's say I just want to get the hatchet for this guy and for the chick let's get her uh, let's get her another hatchet so we'll grab this one and the other thing you might want to do is like it doesn't really matter unless it's a favorite item of yours but as you can see the condition each time you use um, one of the weapons the condition degrades by one so in this case, uh, when I got this uh, sniper rifle, it was four out of four, and now it's one out of four, which means I can use it for one more time. And then it's gonna go into repair mode, so I won't be able to use it for the missions. In this case, uh, the hatchet has one out of three bars left, so I, I'm gonna use it in this mission, and it's gonna get a in a repair state in the in the next after we finish the level, so you won't be able to use that anymore. Uh, you know. It, I've found that this game is pretty easy now that kind of I kind of have quite a few of the tips and tricks on how to uh, not lose a stamina or something. So these weapons, they they're good or bad, you know, in a sense. I mean, they're not really bad because, uh, you know, it's free weapons. You can shoot people, you can stab people or zombies or walkers rather. Uh, but you don't. I mean, for me, there's not really a favorite. I, I guess if I had to pick a favorite, I would pick like the sniper rifle or maybe this assault rifle because you can kind of shoot the, uh, the walkers while they're kind of far away. You don't really have to, uh, you know, be close to them. 
Uh, this kind comes in handy if you're um, if you have a couple of walkers nearby and you and you don't want to use like some of the the little uh, tips and tricks or tricks rather uh, to kind of refresh the game so that you don't lose, lose the stamina and you can get the walkers away from you at the same time. So the uh, rifles come in pretty handy because you can shoot while they're far away and as they're walking towards you. If there's three or four people or walkers coming towards you, uh, you start shooting them and by the time you know they get to you, it's probably like one or two left and, and you can survive with that. So we have uh, little Derek man and Hannah Montana with the uh, druggy uh, eyes. Uh, both of them have hatchets and let's go ahead and play the game so in this case we'll just um, i don't know we'll play with the chick flick here so we'll use a female character and if we play the cards right or if uh, it happens like what i'm trying to show you guys then we won't uh, have to use derek's character he'll just stay put in his spot and we'll be able to complete the mission and each of the uh, characters will have one skill point so I don't know if you noticed, but I went through all of the characters and made sure that I used up the skill points that they had reserved for them. So at this point, uh, none of my characters have any skills. But at the end of the level, you'll notice that uh, Derek and Hannah both get one skill points, even though Hannah is going to work like a dog and uh, do all the work. Yeah, and Derek's going to just chill back and, and enjoy the view. Oh, I forgot what the mission was. So, mission is to collect three bags of food. Okay, so one. Oh, this guy's gonna wake up. Oh no, I'm gonna kill you, boys. Let's go, smack. It, this game is kind of getting boring for me because kind of I kind of know like how you know how to work it, to like get things done, what to look out for, and all that crap. So, it's getting kind of boring. It's uh, one of the reasons I have all these. Um, uh, all these uh, video gaming systems and I kind of stopped playing them because I, I find out You know tips and tricks and those games get so easy. Oh No, you're gonna bite me. I'm gonna kill you now You bite me. I kill you. I kill you. I chop your head off mm. Oh and well since you guys are watching this I'll tell you another secret so let's say, for example, you're trying to, uh, you know, progress in the in the level, and there's walkers left and right. The way it works is that if they're facing you, and uh, you move close to them, they'll kind of know that uh, that you are coming because they see you, even though they have they have no brains, they kind of sense you, and then they'll go and attack you. But the thing is that if you're if you're really close uh, to the walker and uh, or ne not really close, but if you're like, let's say you're crouching and you see a, a walker nearby, but he's walking around and uh, you finish, uh, sorry, you you walk towards him and if he's looking at you, he's going to come and bite you, right? So, but the thing is that if he's walking around and uh, he, he's not looking at you, you can go really, you can kind of sneak up behind him and stand right there and then it's going to be your turn again and then you're just gonna smack him in the upside his head and kill him so as you can see Derek was kind of chilling back at the starting rendezvous point or oh, actually not even the rendezvous point the starting point he didn't do any work and I got to apply two skill points one for each character even though Hannah did all the work I didn't use my energy points to get two characters to the um, rendezvous point at the, at the end of the level um, so I finished my, I started with 35 energy points um, I have 23 left, so I only use 12 energy points rather than 24 for two characters. But I still get uh, one skill point for each of the characters. So now let's just make sure that it gets applied. So Derek and Hannah, so we'll go and apply it. There's Derek. Hey, boy. Didn't do any work, but you get your shooting upgrade. Finish. Kapow! Look at that. And then we're going to go back and we're, we're going to apply Hannah's skill point. And there is one more skill point. So here we go, two for the price of one, ladies and gentlemen, two birds with one stone. You have learned one more tips and tricks for this uh, for this game. And uh, check out this next video where I'll actually talk to you more about how to approach the walkers when they're not seeing you so that they don't really know that you're there and you kind of sneak up behind them and uh, kick their ass. All right, so catch it on the next video.
Later.